So, I'm kind of screwed. What the fuck? Oh, uh, what? Oh, wait, hang on. There's radio up here. Oh, there's two. There's a tape player. God damn it. Seriously, what is happening? Oh god, I gotta pass by the mirror again. F fuck you? Just don't try and influence Michael. He can live his own life. Okay, seriously, who are you? What? Go on. Oh. I, I think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Oh, thank it wasn't God. wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Nope. Ah, uh, no. I wish it was a dream. Usually there's a lot more talking horses. We're in, like, trouble. Yeah. Oh, just slightly. God. Yeah, we kind of really are. So... I mean, Christ, if Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost? Clarissa is only, like, one slice of the problem. We're all infected or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah. But how do we do that? Well, uh... Good question. Maggie? Ah, I think Maggie Adler might have had some sort of a plan or a, a scheme or something to fix what's going on. What possible plan could Maggie Adler have? First of all, she's dead. And second of all, she was like the island... She knew something. I mean, look around. This whole house is like a ghost hunting command center. And she thought she needed to tune a radio into the... the source of the problem in the cave. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right. Uh, I know, of course. There are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields anyway? Wait. Is it a Fippany? It's a Piffany Field. Oh, that makes more sense. Okay, wait, pause really fast. So, the ghosts are, in essence, gigantic pains in the fucking asses. So they're going to be using, in essence, all of us to leave the island to live the lives that they were never given. Because technically speaking, they were killed by friendly fire. Maggie Adler apparently was hunting them down. I mean, obviously we have ghost hunting equipment and ghost hunting equipment mainly just means you're gonna go find the ghost, not necessarily try and hunt them down in essence. So, but how, how did all of this start? Okay, so, okay, wait, okay, so uh, back up. My guess is Maggie and her friend, who I cannot remember, I think it's Anna, I think it was her name, started this whole thing by accident um and they're kind of like the people who started making like those stone those rock towers to indicate where you're supposed to go to get to signal into a radio station once they did that but why the caves why is it the caves because they sunk off the, the coast and yeah they washed up on shore i guess near beacon beach and that's where the cave is. So maybe that's... But why there? Anyway, so... They're doing research. They go into the cave. They open up the portal. The first time. They're the ones who opened up the first time. Anne, Annie, Anne, Annie, dies in the process because the ghosts try to take over her in order to lead the island. 
Maggie Adler, I think, is going to act a little bit like Alex in the fact of she knew what was going on and knew she was infected, was able to fight them off slash not be possessed, but knew she could never leave the island. And that's why she stayed the entire time, because she knew she couldn't leave because then the ghost would, in essence, win. So she spent her entire time trying to find a way to successfully close the portal, but all she did was kind of delay the inevitable because all of a sudden we show up and we fuck everything up. <laughs> so, okay, but why, why, besides the fact of I am obviously the protagonist because I'm playing as Alex, why is Alex not affected by everything? She is, but she isn't because obviously we did the whole time jump into the past when we saw Michael and Clarissa dating and everything, everything seemed fine there. But... Uh, uh, something just... I, I feel like I'm still missing something here. Oh, God. Because of the, I like the fact I'm like, oh, there's something missing when it's dealing with freaking ghosts. Yes, that's the logical step. Okay. Okay, we need the real first. Boop, boop. All right, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh, man. If this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos... Yeah. I'm sure this is just... God, it's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. But won't it be, like, locked or something, right? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or <laughs> whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Brilliant, run. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It's she had to have. To fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's that's going a little above. Above and beyond. Well, how would she even know this? I don't care how much research she did, this would be out of anyone's realm of expertise. Well, something better work, or... Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. <laughs> oh, sorry, this is like... This looks like the end, but from the... From the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See, it says when someone sends an emergency signal from the catbird station in the woods and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. All right, but come on, Nona, do you honestly believe that the old equipment in either building will still work? It's, I don't know, but it's the only thing we have so far. And time's a clicking. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part, you and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Wait, wait, I, um, I'm sorry, I kind of zoned out there for a second. What are we doing? Ren and Nona are team, um, Soaring Eagle, and you and I are <laughs> awesome squad. Uh, <laughs> I want that one. And we're splitting up to work on some old fangled machinery to open the bomb shelter, to get into the cave, to yada yada yada, save our lives or whatever. Okay, I think I got it then. So we're going up there. Oh, we're gonna go back to the bridge stand. Yay, we're gonna go back through the woods. God, this is gonna be so much fun. I can tell. All right, break. And if anything <laughs> goes wrong, please don't tell me. I won't want to know. Well. Well, now I'm gonna run over this... there and specifically tell you at the first drop of bad news. No. Too late. You you, you called it upon yourself, my friend. I'm so sorry. But you kind of asked for it. God, this is so... Funky. Freaky, funky, weird, bizarre, and overall just confusing. Wait. Uh, do I want to go up? I want to go up. There we go. There we go. I can figure out stairs. I know how stairs work. Look at me go. I'm climbing them. Uh, awesome. I can climb stairs. I'm going to stop. Oh, for God's sakes, just go. Oh. 
Uh, wait, I can't move. Oh, well. Ren? What the fuck? Alex, Alex, okay, are you, are you back to normal? Uh, uh, Look, I think, I'm sorry, but I think Ren might be in trouble. Why? I just saw, it, it, it was like a premonition, I think, and, and I know that sounds whatever, but this must be what it's like when people say they do that, because I kind of just saw Ren drowning. Okay, okay, just take it easy for a second. You went all red-eyed, like when we get possessed. I did? You stopped walking and started mumbling, and then your eyes lit up like little road flares. It only lasted like a minute, but we should hurry up and do this before the door on you opens any wider to them. Uh. But the thing with Ren, it was so real. It was like it, I was there with him. Maybe we should go back. But I'm sure he's fine, so let's finish what we started. But... Okay, where would they be? Uh, cause they're gonna be down at the bunker door, which I think we kind of saw. What the fuck? We just departed. How how would he have gotten in trouble already? What the hell? <laughs> oh, thank Look, God. Kind of made sense. Oh, thank God. Hey, guys. Uh, wait. Did I get the plan wrong? Because if I got it right... No, you didn't get it wrong. Ren, are you doing okay? Like, you haven't almost drowned or anything in the last hour, or... No, fit as a fiddle. Well, like a fiddle you'd find in someone's damn shed or something. You know, kind of warped, looks a okay. little... Okay, satisfied? Can we go now? Okay, but just... Like, be careful, you two, okay? Careful. Definitely will do. Check, double check. Okay, well, it's been fun catching up, kids. We'll go do our half of the fix the ghost problem equation now. All right. See you after, at the bomb shelter. What the fuck? Oh, I wonder if the ghosts were just, like, screwing with me, because... God, that was freaky. Okay, then why would that have happened? Is there a possibility that one point in time he had drowned? Because if this is all time-based... Now we're not going to Fort Mildner. Don't need to go back there. I don't think there was anything else at the comm tower we needed to worry about. Uh, I think it's like... The place we're trying to go to is like one more over. I say somewhat confidently. I don't fully remember. You know what time it is? It's four in the morning. Which is usually about the time everyone decides if they're going to bed or ordering another three pizzas. I'm in bed by yeah. ten, dude. What's your vote usually in uh, that situation? Uh, never leave pizza on the table. It's like getting 11 in blackjack. Just double down. Don't even think about it. You think this tuning into the tear thing's gonna work? Like, really? It really doesn't matter if I think it's gonna work. It's sort of all we have, and we're running out of time. It is all we have, yeah. I just... I just wish I felt like the ghosts were concerned that their plan won't work. I just feel like they're pretty confident. Like they know by sunrise they're all gonna be shopping for school supplies. Jonas, they should be concerned. They should be scared and that's on them if they're not hell yeah all right good to hear we got this maybe that's a chair i think this um stuff is getting pulled in from like their time or something this is so weird um yeah it's not exactly a good omen i think we're running out of runway here okay so this is so, can i make that actually hang on can I jump that? Oh my god! Oh, Jesus, what are you doing jumping across that? There's another, there's like another way down here. Look, Jonas, I do like a million jumping jacks a day. This is nothing. Oh, I didn't realize. Sorry. <laughs> you gonna try and make it? Oh, that's my guy. Nicely done. <laughs> wow. 
Well, this makes this shortcut a little bit easier. Jesus. I didn't think we were actually going to make that. Hang on, I want to see what's down here, because... Oh, there's a little, st little, little, little tower of stone thing in my dues. I'm going with that. Okay. Gonna find it. Gonna find it. Good God, there's so many radio stations. Oh wait. Ah. Okay, it's not that way. Jesus. Oh, did I just like. Oh, come on, you came down here for absolutely no reason. I don't know why you didn't follow when I was doing the radio stuff, but. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go. You, you keep getting stuck on walls. That's so weird. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. <sighs> I hope this works. Yeah, I, I kind of do too. Oh. Alright. Top of the hill. Here we go. Gotta walk up there. Good God, I can't walk straight for whatever reason. Now the station's oh. up at the top of the hill. Fuck. I hope this works. Thanks. God, <sighs> uh, we're in another loop, de loo They always come at the most appropriate times, don't they? No, no, they don't. <sighs> yeah, they do. Thanks for the update. You're welcome. Okay, well we can't go up. Wait. Who is that? Who? What? Ren. No, no. What happened? What's wrong with Ren? Ren, he's. He had an accident. He... he died. I couldn't... Uh, ha what? I, I mean, yeah, we just saw you. How, how did this happen? He... he drowned. What? He took a fall. I don't know. He just... he just stopped. Oh. I mean, does it really matter what happened? Fuck anyway, you. Done is done. I know you're not Jonas, so there's no use in pretending. Soon it won't be a pretense. It'll be an absolute. Alex, we know you're in charge, and we know your plan, and we also know that your plan won't work. It never does. How am I in charge? So we have a proposition for you. Shut up. A deal. A bargain, really. What on earth would give you the idea that I'm in charge? It's been like herding puppies the entire night, making anyone do anything. Please drop the modesty. It's lying for no reason. I died in charge! Marissa, she's gone. We'll pilot her through the rest of existence, and there's nothing you can do to change that. Fuck you. But if you agree to let us take her, let her go quietly and without fuss, you won't slaughter the rest of your friends, like young Reginald here. Um, we leave the rest of you cattle alone. No, no, no way. I'm saving everyone. Everyone is coming home with me. We're all getting out of here. Uh, courage is not always the way, dear. 
You don't have much time left. Do you know how we know you don't have much time left? Uh, I don't care. I don't care. We know because we can be Jonas for this long, and his soul is as quiet as an empty church. Just never say we didn't intend to provide you all the rules. I'm about to be sick. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Oh, my stomach. Oh, good. The radios are back. Oh! Nona! I know he was your best friend, Alex. I I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know what happened. One minute he was there, and then he was just... It's okay, Nona. You, you didn't do anything wrong. I know it's not your fault. Of course it's not your fault. <sighs> I didn't know him that well, but... I like what I'd gotten to know. I'm sorry. It's... I shouldn't. It's colossally stupid of me to talk about him like that with you here. This is... He was more important. It's not stupid. It's not small to like somebody. It doesn't... It doesn't diminish anything. Maybe. It's a tiny thing, but... I hope he knew that I liked him. And I don't know if he did. He knew, Nona. Don't worry. He knew. Like I said, it's a tiny thing. But thanks, Alex. For fuck's sake! Station's up at the top of the. Oh, thank uh, God. God, that was. My mouth feels like I just ate a tree. Interesting. The ghosts, they tried to make like a deal with me for Clarissa's life. I didn't take it, of course, but I don't know. I, I just thought you should know. God, that must mean they're getting desperate or something. If they had any like power over the situation, they wouldn't try to work out a compromise. Anyway. Ren? Anyone there? What? Are they? Oh, they're, um, they're somehow, I guess they're somehow broadcasting or something from the, uh, station speakers. <laughs> Are you guys at the station? They're both alive. Anybody? That's all I care about. Jonas? God. Yeah. Jonas? No, that's a, punch that's a bonus. You can do this. <laughs> don't punch me. Seriously, right in the throat. Don't punch me. Jonas, don't listen. We're all set here for the, uh, the thing? The machinery speak and hug or whatever we're doing. Yeah, let's do it. Jonas. Time's a waste. Jonas, for fuck's sake, man. Like, actually wasted. Like, I feel my body wasted away. No, it, it's okay if you're, like, dealing with stuff. We had to deal with stuff. Well, Jonas is stuck on a wall what right stuff? now, so... The, uh, when I almost kind of slipped and fell off the bridge. Oh my god, you guys, that... No, it was this. It was psychotic to watch. Jonas! Like, almost doesn't quite describe the terror that held my heart watching her come close. It wasn't that. You were perilously close to tumbling into the ocean from like 5,000 feet up. It wasn't that high. There we go. Like, Good God, it man. Was high. Believe me. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Okay. No, it. Ugh, just whatever. I'm fine. She is fine. It's true. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, Ren. Okay, just whenever you're ready, because I'm sure you're listening. Yeah, just hit the button, the receiver thing, and we can do this stuff. Stuff, exactly. Hold up. <laughs> okay, over. Over now. Why do you have to have the last word? Over is good enough. Over now. There we go. Jesus, this is hard. We're here. We made it. Hello. Oh, hello. 
This is Edward Island's emergency. How may I help you? <laughs> if you're being sat on by a very large burglar, just mash the dial with your fist, please. Um, look, the, the ghosts told me they wanted to, to make a sort of deal for Clarissa. What? I said no, of course, but I, I don't know. I just thought you guys should know before moving on. All right, well, let's do the, the thing and get into the shelter and try and fix this fast. Yeah, no shit. Jesus. Signal verified. Shelter TF1 open. Yay. I guess it worked. Great. Okay, we'll meet you there. Right. See you at the shelter. Over and out. Time. Close the time. Hole. Hole? Yeah, and save the day. Okay, dokie. That's the wrong button. Here we go. Jesus Christ. Have I gotten this one yet? I don't think I have. I have not! Excellent. That sounds funky. see over here if maybe Adler left a letter over here? I'm trying to figure out how I'm supposed to find all those letters because the only time I saw that other one was because I- oh! Oh! Wait! Sweet! She thinks that the ghosts were pushed out of our reality and maybe aren't actually dead? Call sign. Hashtag F139. My belief, bolstered by Anna's and my research conducted largely at the cat bird station where interruptions were rare, is that the men and women of the SS, USS Kanaloa were separated from our dimensional existence by the implosion of the submarine's nuclear reactor. I identified one passenger, Henry, by his call sign and his confusion in his confused dictation and uh, reliance on game logic says to me that their emotional states, if not mental states, have been reduced to that of children. A thought I cling to when envision when I envision Anna's demise. Holy shit! So, I suppose that makes sense because their attitude towards this whole thing is the fact of, well, how do I put this? It's almost like a spoiled child in essence. It's the idea that you know they found something that'll get them back to being alive and they don't care who they have to step on to get what they want. They're acting like a spoiled child. If that's 100% correct, I don't know, but that's an interesting observation. Mr. Jordan, couldn't we have him reborn? Jonas! Okay, 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 I'm... Jesus Christ, I really hate that. Fuck, I frack my life. I'm... I think, um... Are you okay now, really? Yeah, I think. It's just, um... Uh... Look, it's scary, needless to say, when I, like, drown or whatever in my own body, and it's starting to feel like, just, like, how do I say this? Cause it's okay, Jonas. Just say what's on your brain. I just want to say, I just I think it would have been cool us living together for for whatever senior year, and I'm just glad I met you. That's all. That is quitters talk. I'm just glad we met. <laughs> I'm glad too. Okay, so there, it's out in the open. We're both glad. Okay, good. So that's it. And now we can go back to the whole escaping and trying to live another day thing. Excellent. 
And we're gonna be fine, by the way. There's no... You don't have to put it like it would have been whatever to live together. We are gonna live together. And you're someday soon gonna eat all the peanut butter. And when I go make a sandwich, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, that's funny. I've actually lived in that scenario. My sister loves just eating peanut butter. Or she did. I'm not sure if she still has that habit or not, but she would just eat peanut butter. And there'd be not a lot left. And be like, what the hell? Why do you do these things? But she really loves peanut butter. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say one thing, and then I promise it'd be the last time I bring it up tonight. But you know you screwed up with Ashley at the concert, right? What? I mean, it's not a giant thing, but still. Who's oh. Ash? Oh, you mean Amanda? My really good friend Amanda who's moving away forever? That Amanda? Yeah, that Amanda who stole her mom's car. And I don't care if you didn't know she didn't have permission to take it, because whatever, fine. But you knew you didn't have permission to go to that show. Just tell me it's the last time I hear about you stealing a car. However inadvertently, my little heart can't handle the excitement. It'll be the last time, but maybe not for the reasons you think. I don't really care about the reasons, just for my own sanity, don't do it anymore. Oh, and I wanted to say, um, <laughs> per your advice, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna really, um, like, commit to Clarissa. <laughs> that sounds dumb, like I'm pinning her or something. Wow! Big man on campus. I don't know why I said that. Big step. That's what I mean. Big step. Eh, it's not a big deal. I'm just letting you know, so... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. I just wanted to tell you. Come on, let's get to the sentry before the last boat comes. I gotta get the uh, visual aid for the history project. And then I just gotta write the stupid essay. What history project? They still make you do, like, work with so little left in the year? Unfortunately. This is... It's just like a town history thing for civics, you know? So it's forced me to kind of, I don't know. And I mean, it's funny. I don't know if I even want to be here next year. It's just all so flat. Same people, the same expressions. Well, if you leave, I'd certainly miss you. Yeah, no, I'd miss you too. It's just that everybody here knows me, you know? I know you think I have it on easy street, but people looking at you all the time, wanting evidence that it's good, that they lived here, that good things can happen to people that are from here, it can get to be a real drag. Like, how about somebody else be captain of whatever for once? You are... are great, though. And... and you're gonna be great whatever you do. I'm sure of it. You got spunk, kid. Yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's head back before Karen Strands is here. You know, when we saw Uncle Pete last month, I wanted to ask him, because he... he got out moving to New York. And I asked him if it was hard leaving. Know what he said? Oh, God, Michael, I have no idea. I mean, knowing Uncle Peter, he was probably three sheets to the wind. He said the hardest part was deciding what to take with him and what to leave behind. I thought it was, I don't know, for him, <laughs> kind of almost touching. Oh, my, how profound. I can't believe Uncle Pete's a mere failed actor and not teaching philosophy at Berkeley. <laughs> oh, shut up. I cannot believe I had to pick you up from the police station because of Grand Theft Auto. I mean, that is too funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> okay, we're going back now. What is all this stuff? <laughs> 